Hello there and welcome to Midweek Green. I'm Anthony Joseph and I'm joined here today by Don's legend Joe Harper. And today we look ahead to the Aberdeen Celtic game at Parkhead on Saturday. Well, Joe, it's a big game for the Dons coming back after the Hearts defeat. Uh, are you confident? I wouldn't say I was confident. You know, I, I mean, obviously we're, we're missing two of our best players, Willa Flood and the Barry Robson, uh, the powerhouses in the, the midfield. So it's going to be a very, very hard game. Um, what I am confident about is that we won't need to psych the players up for this game. You know, I loved it when we played, went to Glasgow, played Celtic, played Rangers. Um, and I loved it even better when we went down there and threw mud in our face, you know, in front of 45,000 Celtic Rangers fans. It's all about uh, how these boys pre prepare themselves and how you build yourself up for a game like that. And uh, as I say, Celtic Rangers games, you don't need a build up because you're so excited. You're going to play the best teams in the league uh, and you're going to pit your wits against them. Last time at Parkhead, they were 3 1 up and then lost 4 3. Do you feel they can learn any lessons from that? You know, it was, a, it was actually quite a sad day all day because they played really well that day, got themselves in the lead and they virtually threw it away at the end. Um, you know, circumstances come into it. But, uh, you know, you don't worry about these things. And I, I'm not worried about Saturday either. I mean, if we go down there and we don't win the game, um, it doesn't bother me because I think we've got a really good team now that are capable of beating other, every other team in the league. And Celtic have that game against AC Milan in the Champions League. How much of a factor do you think that will prove an advantage for the Dons, perhaps? Well, again, I, I don't know about that time because I, I'm, I'm a person. I never ever thought about European games when I was playing the Saturday. You know, I don't know what other players do, but that was just my... I never thought about the, the next game I was always on, the, the game I was playing in. Um, if any of these Celtic players are thinking about the game on Saturday or if Lennon makes changes uh, which is going to weaken his team, then so be it, because that will suit us. Um, but I wouldn't, I, wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be an Aberdeen player saying, well, maybe they're going to take their minds off the game and they're thinking about it next week. You know, nah, go down there, play the best, get the result, and come back up the road happy and make all the fans happy. Um, would you make any changes at all to the team? I mean, the only change I would make, uh, if he's going to bring somebody else on, it'd probably be I'd bring McGuinness on. Uh, because uh, I believe he's, he's back to fitness again. Whether he's match fit, I don't know. But he, he caused him a lot of problems the last time, that last game we're talking about. And he's, he's a strong guy, he's fast, and uh, he would be the one I'd bring on if we need to bring him on. And finally, Joe, your score prediction for Saturday. Oh, God, Tony. I'd be delighted with a draw. Honestly, I would be delighted. I think the, the boys would, be, would do well to get a draw down there. Celtic are a good team uh, in this league. Uh, but, you know, don't worry about them. Go down, give your best, and if we get a draw, if we get a result, if we, if we beat them, it would be tremendous. And we're capable of beating them. We've got players in the team that can beat them. So, you know, just go down there with all the confidence and have a go. Roll the sleeves up and get tore in. Joe is going for a draw in Saturday's game, and you can see more of his comments in today's Evening Express. Thanks for watching the show.